Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Pipefly. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to click here get started for free. Click there. Now when you have it, we are going to add a work email. So I'll just paste it and press continue. Here I'm going to add name and password and the number. Continue. How many people work in your company? I got 210. And what's the name of the company? So all you have to do right now is just fill all these things here. And then which departments will use PipeFi? So what sales? And you can choose like which department there. Like this. It doesn't matter what, you, what I'm going to click here, but you should choose what you want here because I'm going to show you like the whole process for PipeFi. Then we need to verify the email. And now, okay, go to verify. So here we are and here we have it. What we can actually find here and how it actually works. So in the moment when you're gonna enter PyPy and you're gonna uh, like, you're gonna see our account here. On the top left, you're gonna find the home and here you would have the pipe templates. So I can click view all and here you're gonna have all the templates. So I can, let's say I can choose marketing or human resources. So I can have recruitment process. I can simply click on that and use template. Let me show what will happen now. Right now it's creating. And voila. So this is the recruitment process. Again, I can go back to home and see that these are the pipes, right? So we have the lead qualification, the sales pipeline, custom onboarding, recruitment process. Then you have the database of let's say account activities. You can always click here for a new database. And I'm going to show you how we can all do these things. So here on the Marcus Tonelius, you can see the my work and you would have the things what you need to do. Then next to it, you would find templates. That's what we already did. And then help ask for anything. Next to the home, you're going to find also the portals on the top left. Click on that. And group and show request forms, guidelines and company policies. Here you would have a portal. Or you would have a form. Here are the public forms in which anyone can create requests. So now I'm going to click requests. And these would be like a request. Now let's go back to home and let's create together our first pipe. You can choose the template, but we are going to do it alone. Okay. So I'm going to click a new pipe here and let's say I'm going to click start from scratch. Of course you can use a template, start from scratch, name your pipe. Let's say this is going to be for my YouTube channel, create a pipe. Here you have option right now. So I can simply have a Kanban view or a list view. So let's say I'm going to click on top left to list view and I can simply create a new card. Okay. I can click here, create a new card and I can choose a title. So let's say the title is going to be YouTube video. Now I can simply add a sign in to my YouTube video, add a due date. So assign it's going to be myself. I can add a due date, which is going to be like, let's say tomorrow. And I can add labels. Even I can add attachments, checklists. So I can simply add a YouTube a thumbnail in checklist. And then you would find the current phase here as that you can add a field to collect the right information at the right time. And then uh, on the right side, you can just press here, close. So here we have it, the current phase. And when I, I can click on the list and I can go to Kanban and I can like make it in doing. Of course, you can have a multiple, uh, like multiple 
how would I call it? Multiple phases, right? So when I go back, let's say I'm going back to PipeFi and I'm going to click not on the YouTube channel that we have, but let's say custom onboarding. We have the implementation, training, follow-up, completion, done. When I go to list view, I gotta see all of these, right? What you can add. So you see that uh, your own phases can be different. So doing done and I can even add a stock. I can click save then. I will click settings here, edit a phase. And what I can do, I can simply fill drive to your build your form and I can add a current phase for uh, the settings and I can add a form here the field types. Then I can simply also go back to list view. And time in time last updated. What you can do also guys is you can filter the cards, you can create automations. We will get to it, you can create integrations. And then you can show and hide columns, tools that you can have like apps, PDF generator, integrations, and then also settings here. So, okay, we can see the input source is going to be form. And let's say we can add a fields directly in the process. So you're always going to find uh, this is like the settings, the flow of the whole tool. And this is pretty good. So let's say I'm going to have a form here, right? So these are the reports. We still didn't get to it. I can click on a form and let's say add a field here. So what I can do here, so let's say I'm going to add a short text and you can simply add also the description. This field label would be like, let's say name of the video. I can click save. Then I can have a Assign this select. I can also description to it. Then I can simply add attachments. And I can add a date. And then what I can do is also you can have like plenty of field types here. I can add a currency. and currency, let's say it's going to be cost of video. Now when you got it, you're going to find also the faces here. So this is for the YouTube channel, the form. I can have it as a public view. And you can edit all of these. Then you're going to find the phases here. So for every single phase, you can make it different for done or stuck. Then I can have members, email, automations, and pipe settings. So these are all the settings that we have. And this is the start form. Now, when I go back and I go to list here, I can simply switch to Kanban view and I can simply have a form here. Name of the video, sign attachment date, cost of the video. I can easily share it. And let's say I'm going to fill it out, right? So let's say the name of the video is going to be YouTube marketing video. I can add simple assignee attachments. I can select a date and cost of the video. Submit. And I can submit the email. So here we got it and then we can see one request and I can view it on time.
view on pipe. So that's how we do it. Okay. And that's how you add a form. Now when I go back to home, I want to show you like use it from the template what you can do. So let's say I have the sales pipeline here. So we have the prospect, we have the discovery proposal negotiation. I can simply click here on the list view. And I see the labels. Contact the deal value. I can click on reports and find like the deals won, deal lost, and you can create a new report here where you can add a filter. Then in a form, you can easily see the form here that we are what we are asking actually. And I can view on pipe everything here. And then we're going to find the emails where we can compose the email and write the email to other people. And then dashboard. Where we can like create a dashboard. This is just an introduction tutorial on how we can use pipe file. If you want me to, I can create like one hour long tutorial on how we can use everything here and what you can do here. This is just introduction, what you can find here and how we can use it. Now, of course, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help and uh, give you advice on everything here. It was the introduction tutorial for Pipefy. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.